फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो गवर्नमेंट विल कंटिन्यू इट्स एफर्ट टू ब्रिंग अबाउट अ कंसेंसस अमंग ट्रेड यूनियंस ऑन द क्रिटिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ अन इंटरप्टेड प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज इन प्रोडक्टिविटी वेजेस एंड पार्टिसिपेशन इन मैनेजमेंट गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन कंसीडरिंग मैथड्स ऑफ इम्प्रूविंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स सम ऑफ दीज नीड टू बी रीस्ट्रक्चर्ड एज होल्डिंग कंपनीज सो एज टू कंबाइन एंटरप्रेन्योरियल विगर विद इफेक्टिव पब्लिक अकाउंटेबिलिटी द स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड हैज बीन सेट अप टू रिकॉगनाइज द स्टील industry on these new lines further improvements in management practices and general administrative procedures are under examination the approach to the 11th five year plan has been approved by the national development council the approach indicates the effort necessary to attain the twin objective of self reliance and the removal of poverty within a reasonable period a number or programs proposed to be taken up in the 11th plan the national program of minimum needs the employment program the ascent on the development of backward classes and backward regions and the reorientation of the pattern of production with emphasis on goods of mass consumption are designed directly to attack the problem of poverty the approach is based on governments considered view that growth and social justice are interlinked social justice needs growth to be meaningful and growth needs social justice to be sustained and durable the quality and content of growth are more important than growth by itself the new directions given to the 11th plan and the magnitude of its targets call for major efforts on the part of all sections of our people we have to sustain and transfer the unity morale and confidence which we demonstrated in meeting external danger to the fields of economic and social transformation of the country i have no doubt that the people will respond to this challenge it will be the privilege of this 13th parliament of our public to give shape to the five year plan and make it the turning point in our advance towards economic independence a number of programs intended for the benefit of rural masses have been in operation for the last 2 to 3 years the small and marginal farmers program the program for rural employment drought prone areas program provision of house sites to landless labor in rural areas and the nutrition program a special program to provide employment opportunities for 500000 educated persons has been formulated realizing the significance of education both for social transformation and economic growth government has decided to take steps in concern with state government 
for programs of educational reconstruction and development in the 11th five year plan a science and technology plan which will form an integral part of the economic plan is being prepared this will help us to harness science and technology in a more purposive way for self reliance and economic growth at the same time we must take measures to preserve the quality of the natural environment a new department of space and a space commission have been constituted to utilize fully the benefits that can accrue to the country as a result of the peaceful uses of outer space government has been deeply concerned at the recent development in andhra pradesh the problem in that state has a long history we view with grave anxiety the resort to the violence in an attempt to settle this problem such violence is opposed to the basic values we cherish it has resulted in the loss of valuable lives and extensive damage to public property i express my sympathy and sorrow for those who have suffered there is no problem for which reasonable solution can not be found through calm and rational discussion governments sole consideration is to safeguard the interests of all sections of our people i appeal to the people of andhra pradesh to cooperate fully with the government in finding a peaceful solution i now turn to relations with neighbors near and far we have desired the establishment of mutually beneficial and friendly relations with pakistan we signed the simla agreement as the first step towards the establishment of durable peace the agreement lays emphasis on bilateralism for the solution of differences by peaceful means and excludes outside agencies and third party involvement i am glad that india and pakistan have been able through bilateral negotiations to determine a line of control in jammu and kashmir which is to be respected by both sides similarly both sides have withdrawn their troops to the international border in the process india has vacated about 12000 square kilometers of pakistan's territory this by itself is concrete evidence of india's friendly intentions towards pakistan the prisoners of war of the western front have been exchanged it is hoped that pakistan will create the necessary conditions which would enable the three parties to the conflict in the eastern theater to hold discussions for the repatriation of the prisoners of war who surrendered to the joint command of india and bangladesh forces this simla agreement holds promise of establishing peace in the subcontinent